Welcome back to the mind of Herbert. Make sure to check out the last chapter. Subscribe for more. Chapter 5. The first thing old Shrek noticed was how familiar this place seemed. It was like he had been there before. New Shrek was at the top of the hill and didn't notice old Shrek. So old Shrek walked up to him and saw what was occupying his attention. They were home, but it was a bit off. The swamp was green and colorful like normal but the moss was a different shade of green and the house was made out of a different type of wood. Should we knock? He said old Shrek. With that witty remark the two Shreks approach their new home. They find the door unlocked and go into their house. Inside the house it looked like a science lab but everything was made out of swamp stuff. The Shreks sat on the couch waiting for the newest Shrek to come home. While they were waiting they got a better look around the house. It was a normal house on one side and the other side was all sciency and shit. The couch was on the normal side and the fireplace was an L between the two sides. Then they heard someone at the door. The person who came through the door looked like Shrek but with a black messy head of hair and a funny little mustache. We're gonna call him Harry to keep it going quick. Harry says, who the fuck are you to old Shrek replies with, we are you. Well not exactly we are different versions of you. We came through a portal up over the hill and we decided to check out our house. That's why we are here. Harry took a few seconds and clearly was confused but right before he started talking he seemed to understand and said, Okay. I think I understand it. New Shrek explained to Harry exactly what had happened to them in detail and then asked if he had killed Donkey yet. Harry said he was a problem and he needed to be removed from the gene pools as he is an inferior creature that deserves to die. Thus ogres are the superior race, designed with both brains and brawn we could rule the world if only there were more of us Whoa, maybe we should call him Hitler Shrek. The other Shreks were dumbfounded by his statement but realized there was a bit of truth to it. Hitler Shrek kept going, how did you two get here what exactly did you do to create that portal? If I can recreate your portal on a massive scale we can call forth an army of the superior ogre race. Which will allow us to take over the universe, old Shrek says. I'm not sure how we did it, but I can show you the portal. The three Shreks headed to the portal, and when they got there, Hitler Shrek leaned down to the portal and stuck his hand through it, and then says, I need to take some samples, but this doesn't look all that hard to replicate. Give me a month or two, and I will have it done two weeks later, and new and old Shrek are bored as hell. So they go to town and go straight to the bar to get hammered, as usual. They walk into the bar and are instantly greeted by a drunk pussy in boots. I feel like I have met you two before. You guys remind me of someone, both of you do, he said in a drunken slur. You're Shrek and you're too. Then no one will notice if one of you goes missing with that a cat charged at the two for once in the senti ogres. Old Shrek jumped back as the pussy made contact with new Shrek. Pussy ripped at new Shrek's chest and shoulder slowly making his way up to his face. Old Shrek pulled Pussy off of New Shrek and threw him into the wall and then grabbed him by the throat. Whoops, I guess we forgot about this guy. You good man, said Old Shrek. I will be fine, said New Shrek while pouring some alcohol on his guts. Old Shrek gave the incapacitated cat to New Shrek who took him out back. The screams from the alleyway went on for over 30 minutes. Then New Shrek came back in and sat down at the bar and started drinking. By the time the bar closed they were both completely ham. Hammered and were having an argument about some of the stuff Hitler Shrek said. The two drunken ogres somehow stumbled their way into a drug deal, where they raped the dealers and took their heroin. The two high and drunk Shrek's argument is getting heated and New Shrek threw half punch at old Shrek. Old Shrek in his drunken anger went off on New Shrek. He hit him with a right hook so hard it could be heard from a mile away. New Shrek got up off the ground and wiped the blood off his mouth. He ran that old Shrek with such speed and grace that you wouldn't know that he weighed 385 pounds or 11,622.64 lithium hour batteries. Old Shrek was just as fast as New Shrek, but he had more experience in fighting. New Shrek went in for a right hook, but old Shrek evaded the hit and grabbed his extended arm. Old Shrek flipped New Shrek like he weighed nothing. Old Shrek had New Shrek on the ground and it looked as though it was over. New Shrek had one last trick up his sleeve, well more of his pants. New Shrek ripped through his pants by getting fully hard. He then proceeded to thrust up and into old Shrek's ass. For once old Shrek had a dick up his ass. The only problem with this was that old Shrek does squats and he's dummy thick and squeezed so hard on New Shrek's ogre penis that New Shrek screamed in pain. The ogres try as they might couldn't remove New Shrek's stick from his ass. Old Shrek punched right at the base of the oversized cock. New Shrek howled so loud that he woke up the whole town. 
the two Shriks screamed in unison as the dick went further into the still clenching ass of old Shrik. New Shrik was about to blow his load in old Shrik when old Shrik jumped up and over New Shrik. The force of the jump got the dick out and New Shrik shot hot green news everywhere. New Shrik covered in his own news ran at old Shrik, but he jumped to the side and put New Shrik in the headlock. New Shrik tried to escape from old Shrik but he just couldn't get out. New Shrik passed out and old Shrik carried him back to Hitler Shrik. Hitler Shrik was furious that the other Shriks went out without telling him. He was even more upset that they let people see that there were two of them. So Hitler Shrik took New Shrik into his special room and started doing tests on him. Three hours later Hitler Shrik came out covered in blood and wearing a gas mask. New Shrik walked out completely clean except for a small band-aid above his right eye. There was no life in New Shrik's eyes anymore. He didn't even talk. No funny comments, no anything. He only followed Hitler Shrik's orders. Hitler Shrik said, I fixed him. He will no longer be a problem for either of us. He will listen to us and do exactly what we want. A perfect soldier. Do not worry, I will not do it to you. I need you to be able to talk to me. Old Shrik stood there not knowing what to do. All he could get out was a quiet a Hitler Shrik ordered. You, old Shrik, will be the general of my army. Right now it may just be you and him but give me a month and I will have an interdimensional portal ready and we can acquire more of ourselves. For now you must go out and look for people willing to fight for us. Also you must build a base and defenses for us. We may have almost no enemies now but it will not stay that way long. Off you go and take the retard with you old Shrik left with his new lackey and set off to find more people for Hitler Shrik's army. Old Shrik decided that normal soldiers would be too weak for his army so he traveled far and went to look for other ogres and maybe a few giants. The two traveled far and wide until they came to a stream at the foot of the mountain. The stream wasn't very deep, maybe a foot or two, but it was at least 300 feet wide. Near the middle of the river you could see rapids and fish jumping in and out. There was an old bridge going across the water and in the middle there was a man in all black armor holding a... holding a black sword. The two Shriks made their way to the man and he said as soon as they were in earshot, stop. To get across this bridge you must defeat me as he said this he signaled to the water around him. Old Shrik saw suits of shiny and rusty armor poking out of the water all around the man. Old Shrik said, okay then I guess I can fight you Shrik said, hold on, first I must use my cheeks as he said this he ran at the man, while stroking his massive ogre cock at the same time Shrik gained more strength and speed for each stroke. The man was fast for a guy in full armor. He jumped to the right of the large ogre and tried to slice across old Shrik's side. Old Shrik barely managed to twist his body enough that a blade just licked his clothes. Before old Shrik could even turn around the man lunged at him. Old Shrik spun around and brought the sword under his armpit and closed the gap. He smashed his forehead into the man's helmet so hard that the helmet dented. The man staggered back as old Shrik released his sword and went for a right uppercut, catching the man under his chin. The force of the hit sent the man into the air, he hit the ground hard and started to get up. But old Shrik was relentless and jumped on him immediately. He hit the man in the dented helmet until the helmet was crushed like a cherry soda spilling out its contents. Old Shrik stood up and wrapped his bleeding hand in a cloth he had used to hold berries. He then took the man's sword and went on his way. After that any problems the two got into were quickly resolved with that sword. They kept traveling on and on until they met another ogre in the woods. Old Shrik said, you should come join us. We are putting together an army to take over for the ogres. The ogre said, I don't know about joining no army. All I care about is my family. Shrik replied with, oh, can I see your family? Then the ogre agreed and brought them to his cave. The ogre had a wife and five kids aging from three to seventeen. The oldest of the bunch was instantly up when he saw new people, ready to defend his home. The ogre said, Whoa, calm down there boy, these guys are just looking for ogres for their army. They have made some good points about it and I told them I would at least talk about it over dinner. Old Shrik and the ogre family sat down for dinner and talked about the ogre family's life and what they do. The ogre dad works as a pimp and that's actually how he met his wife. His wife was the hottest ogre working the corner on the left of all greens. The ogre, Tim explained how they met. It was a normal day in town and Tim was with his main bitch trying to scope out new clients. He found a few new clients that were into bow big ogre women. He set up four new appointments for his main bitch and one of his side pieces. So now he was taking a well-deserved break and just walking around the town. When he saw her, 
Tiffany the baddest, thickest older woman he had ever seen with tits that dragged on the ground. With one glance Tim was in love and he knew right then that he had to do everything in his power to get her to be his main bitch. Tim tried basic tactics for attracting a woman. He showed his enlarged penis to her unfortunately for Tim. Tiffany's real name was Thomas. Tim had no idea about this until he got Tiffany into bed when Tiffany flipped him over and pulled out a bigger dick than Tim and shoved it straight into his ass. Now Tiffany or Thomas was a pre-op transvestite and Tim paid the money to get the operation done to fully change sexes. After that it was history. The kids were all adopted except for one who is actually Tim's child from one of his side pieces. After the meal is over old Shrek explains the plan to take over the world. Tim says that he can help as long as his wife and kids are safe. Old Shrek agrees and they shake on it. As old Shrek goes to leave new Shrek grabs Tim's youngest, youngest child and jams his 46 inch dong straight down his throat killing him instantly. The child's throat explodes open and new Shrek's erect penis is sticking out of the child's ass. Tim seeing this goes to attack new Shrek and grabs him by the neck. New Shrek doesn't even flinch instead he takes his penis with the child still skewered on it and tries to jam it into Tim. New Shrek somehow manages to get the tip of his dick into Tim but it is stopped the child's lifeless corpse. New Shrek thrusts so hard that the child's body just explodes in a bloody mess with the new blood on his cock. New Shrek rams his cock so far into Tim's ass that blood came out his mouth. Old Shrek just sat and watched as the emotionless being that used to be New Shrek slaughtered Tim's whole family. Her. You made it to the end now leave a like or Herbert won't eat tonight.